so here we are. It's a week, almost not quite to the minute, but a week after the storm. And uh, it's the roof of my shed. And I haven't really got much done. I haven't, I have, I, well, I did reach out to one organization, never heard back. I haven't reached out to any others yet about coming to help me disassemble and move this thing out of here or fix the spot on my roof, two spots on my roof at least. There's probably more once I get an actual roofer that is familiar with these tile roofs. Let me show you the roof from back here. This is the back of the house. But if you see, oh, come on, zoomy, zoomy, zoomy. Right there is one spot uh, that the metal tile roofing pulled loose and then there's the big spot on, up, up front. So I need to get those taken care of um, but I need to get this out of here but today um, just been in a weird mood the last couple days I think the kind of the reality of everything started to hit a couple days ago and um, I've been sitting around doing a whole lot of nothing I didn't have internet for a while uh, been reading I think I've read five books in the month of January which is kind of stunning um, so I'm going to, I've got to do something, even if it's not much. And I'm realizing that I think the other day after I finished my yard work, I might have set my leather gloves on the uh, coffee table that's under this shed. <laughs> so I don't have my good leather gloves, but I have other leather gloves. So, um, I... Got this out of my toolbox. Luckily it wasn't in the shed. It was in the back room. And I'm going to go at some of the little nails, the roofing nails. I actually did a few this morning. I did like three this morning just to see if this would work. It's not the ideal tool, but it's the best tool I have. Um, because I want to save this metal roofing. Uh, either to put it on a new shed or to uh, make raised vegetable beds for the garden out of it. So... I'm going to see. If nothing else, if I accomplish nothing else, it'll give me some feeling of doing something. And that's really what I need right now. I've been sitting around doing a lot of nothing. I have not gotten out in the community and volunteered because I've just been struggling figuring out what I can do. But that's going to change tomorrow morning. Um, I am actually using my services, using my gifts and talents in the community uh, tomorrow and Saturday, the very least. I have a, someone coming in to spend the weekend with me, um, a new friend. Um, she's a licensed massage therapist. She's going to be providing free massages to people. I'm going to be providing sound healing and Reiki work. And there are a bunch of other practitioners and things coming together to provide that service for people. So it is something I can do and, and I just need to do something physical today. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's see how this goes.
Right, that made me feel really good to get that one section off. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep working and get this all off right now, or just the satisfaction knowing I can do it is gonna be enough. But as you can see, let me show you here. This shed is very solidly built. So as much of this lumber that I can salvage and reuse, either to rebuild a shed or to um, use in other projects, I'm gonna do it. Waste not, want not, right? And I'm feeling there might be a lot of want in the next few months around here. Um, but I won't get into that right now. So I'm gonna get to work, thanks. Okay, if you can see behind me, I've taken half of the metal roof off. I'd take the whole thing off if I could just pick this up and set it upright and get the, to the other side, but it's uh, that's a job for another day. And bigger back, stronger, stronger people than me, and or uh, figure out a way to get some electricity run out here and a uh, reciprocating saw will make quick work. I'm not going to, I don't want to take all the, um, I don't want to take it all apart. Like I want to take it apart so that it's a little, I got to get out of the sun. It got hot all of a sudden. Uh, now that there's no shed shading in my backyard. Um, I don't want to just cut it up into pieces and toss it out on the street. I want to save as much of the lumber as I can. And those ceiling uh, rafter joists, joists, whatever the A-frame, you know, you know what I mean. These things. The things that are the angles that are all, you know, there. I do preserve those if I can. Too bad I don't have a shed I could put them in. Hmm. But uh, I think at the very least if I get some pallets or uh, I think there's some concrete blocks underneath that shed somewhere or something to lift them up off the ground and then wrap them in a tarp back here somewhere. They'll be fine. Um, I'm not gonna try to save everything, but if it's usable, like I have to side this wall at some point. Uh, I thought it was gonna be in the next couple months, and it may be, maybe I don't know. But uh, um, that siding matches the old house siding, so why not use it, right? Um, so I want to save enough siding to do these sections of wall minus some windows that are going to go in here and uh yeah but uh i'm pretty happy with myself i got that done so it was one i mean it wasn't it wasn't a big deal i don't i don't didn't look at the time when i came out here or the time now but i don't think it took me an hour but it felt good it felt good to get it done to get something accomplished so i think i'm going to walk around to the alley side and uh with my crowbar and see what i can Pry loose over there. <laughs> That's all I got to do today. Actually, it isn't. I, this is my procrastination um, efforts here to not go in and do the other stuff that takes more mental 
work and um, interacting with people work that I'm just not quite, I'm going to have a weekend of interacting with people. So I'm conserving my peopling uh, strengths at this moment. So um, let's go rip some more shit up.